The total hip replacement is the operation that we do to replace the native hip joints uh, with an artificial hip. This procedure is mainly done for elderly population. However, in the very recent years, we start to do this operation in very young population for one reason or another. Um, sometimes they have a very shallow hip joint that gives them a lot of um, pain during uh, regular activities. Um, uh, sometimes cessation of the blood supply, the condition that we call an avascular necrosis that can happen to the head of the femur in the hip joint and that will uh, lead to a severe arthritic changes and as well severe pain that happens um, that will lead to the limitation of activities. The operation uh, itself uh, involves the replacement of the head of the femur with the um, artificial one, most likely a ceramic head. Um, and also the pelvic bone will have to be prepared in a way to so that we can put a shell inside it and a liner uh, which in a younger age population is mostly a ceramic one however in an older population most likely would be a polyethylene one. Uh, there are two types of hip uh, replacement uh, uh, processes in the market. The one that is fixed itself to the bone with a biological cement, and, uh, and this is the cemented type of hip replacement. And the other one that is uh, uh, naturally fixed to the bone through a process uh, that the body heals on itself, where the new bone is formed over hills and valleys on the micro, microscopic picture of the stem and that will make it a very solid and stable. This type of hip replacement is called an uncemented hip replacement. Um, the cemented uh, type of hip replacement uh, when we insert uh, using a biological cement it usually um, so solidify around 11 to 12 minutes uh, and becomes very hard afterwards. It allows a, a certain uh, re creeping, which is a relaxation and the constant load to accommodate the new stem uh, over the next few months. Um, that will allow this to be very well fixed to the bone. But it's worth mentioning that the cement can be removed at any stage after the surgery. We have special instruments to use. We have um, uh, an ultrasonic machine that it turns it from the solid phase into the liquid phase and can be easily removed. We, we have a, a lot of data since 2005 about the longevity of both hip system, the cemented and uncemented, and there are excellent reports uh, supporting both the stems uh, lasting for more than 20 years. There is no preference of when and which one to use, uh, usually in a younger population, less than 50, we usually use an uncemented hip replacement, the above 70 population use a cemented hip. Between 50 and 70, it depends on the activity level and uh, the comorbidities that uh, the patient or the client has, which makes us choose which one or another, but for both are excellent results and there is no one better than the other.